This is my show, Tuesdays with Annie. So in this video, we're going to speak about the different jobs that Filipino expatriates perform here in the Sultanate, as well as their various activities that they, they do in order to have some fun and relax for some time. But I would like to make one disclaimer though, this video is not exhaustive because it doesn't cover everything. The first parts would just be about the works of my friends and those people close to me. But we promise to give you more videos in the coming episodes. So please stay tuned. And for those people who are not yet subscribed to our channel, please do subscribe and don't forget to click that notification bell so you will be notified every time we upload a new video. Thank you very much. Welcome to our pilot episode of Buhay OFW series. In this episode, we will be sharing with you our video clips of the interviews we conducted with two of our friends, Miles and Jesse. So let's go! that for OFWs to maintain their sanity and overcome their homesickness, they should always turn to prayers, connect to the right people, and always believe that there is a better future. to have a friend like her and she said yes to me when I told her that I wanted to talk to her about her job so Miles ano na ang work dito uh, siguro bago yung work pala ano itong company um, this company for chicken company matagal dito sa company na ito so tapos na po yung two years contract ko then nag po ako another two years uh, is ito yung pangatlo kumbaga na taon mo dito Opo. Ah, yung ano, how do you call this one? Ano ang work mo dito sa? Work ko dito, secretary. Hmm, um, bilang secretary, ano yung mga ginagawa noon? Um, actually, more on paperwork, more on reports. Mm -mm. And noon na, first mm -mm. time, parang... Mm -mm. Parang nahihirapan ako kasi iba to doon sa work profession ko. Unlike sa Pinas. Ah, so an anong dati mo work sa Pinas bago ka punta rito? Teaching. Oh, teacher ka? Hindi yes. natin pinag-usapan yun. <laughs> okay, tapos? Then, so, sa first na work ko, in one week, I had too much encountered um, more challenges. Mm -mm. Kasi bago yung boss, bago yung country, bago mm -mm. yung work, mm -mm. bago yung mag magiging kawek mo. Mm -mm. And hindi ko alam kung saan ako sisimula mm -mm. sa work ko. Mm -mm. Then, after nung one month, mm -mm. naka, ano na din ako ng mm -mm. work ko. Mm -mm. Alam ko na kung ano yung daily routine, ano yung dapat kong gawin mm -mm. through my boss and colleagues, they teach me everything. Oh, that's good to know. So, ila, ikaw lang ba ang Pilipino nandito? Yes po. 
ay, pero sige. And then, so, bilang secretary, ikaw ang nagre-receive ng mga orders, mga ganon, or ikaw ang, or ano ba, or ikaw yung sa external engagements, ano usually ang mga hinahandle mong More, documents? More, ko po yung, ano, yung schedule for payment. Aha. Na inire-remind ko si boss na we need to pay for this one. Mm -mm. And, Kung meron siyang i-meet na person, meeting appointment, mm -mm. kailangan ko i-remind si boss na bukas mm -mm. meron kang meeting appointment sa ganitong person. Ah, oh, interesting. Yes, and so, kailangan mong maging yung utak, maging active kasi pag once na nakalimutan mong i-remind si boss, mm -mm. wala na rin. <laughs> yes. And that would mean losing money for the company, di ba? Yes, and mm -mm. syempre, mistake ko yun. Mm -mm, totoo. So, ano ang pinaka-interesting part ng job mo bilang secretary ng company na ito? Interesting yung job ko dito. O yung, yung ano, mm -hmm. yung about sa sales, report, about sa credit. Mm -hmm. Nalaman ko kung ano yung about sa business. Wow. Kasi different yung pitching sa business. Of course. So, na-experience na, na ko or na-overcome ko yung Ah, ganito pala yung business. Mm -mm. Kailangan mo more on sales para mm -mm. yung company mo more on... Kikita? Yes. So, siguro by the time you go home to the Philippines, pwede ka nang magnegosyo. Di ba? Kasi you learned a lot of things. Okay. If you have something to share with everyone bilang siguro advice or um, siguro words of wisdom para sa mga tao sa mga kaibigan natin, um, is there anything that you would like to tell them? So, sa mga kapwa ko, it's a freaking, ang um, uh, ipapayo ko lang po sa inyo, kung meron kayo na arama sa mga problems sa life, kayo, mag-pray po kayo, wag po mm -hmm. kami mo na na kausapin si mm -hmm. and more socialize, mm -hmm. and ma ma magharap ka ng tao yung magkikinig sa inyo. Mm -hmm. Napag para tayo lang ka maging chat man yan or personal. Mm -hmm. Yun lang. That's correct. So, importante talaga that you connect with other people yeah. as well. But I think it's also good to note na when we talk about connection and social interactions, dapat piliin din. Kasi hindi naman lahat na makikipag-connect sa iyo ay magiging magandang influensya or magiging magandang influensya. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. And again, I would like to say thank you to you, Miles. Maraming salamat for your patience. Ito na yung third year mo. So we will see you soon. Bye-bye. Well, Jesse is an all-around artist. He is a hairstylist, a makeup artist, an event organizer, event choreographer, name it, and he's willing to learn and do it. He is an example of an OFW who is ready to learn new things and to perfect his craft, and he ensures that his everyday counts. So let's go to Rui and meet Jess. <music> the weekends this this part of Rui is actually filled with lots of people and we consider Rui as the melting pot because you can see here different nationalities not on the Filipinos you will see a lot of Indians here Pakistanis Bang those from Bangladesh and of course other nationalities and um, yeah, we have a street cleaner here. He is doing his job. Uh, the good thing about this is, I mean, today is it's not so hot. Since last week, we have been experiencing this cool weather. And so we can like walk freely and it doesn't really hurt your skin because we consider this one as a good weather in this sultanate. Good evening, 
time we're here with Jesse. Hello. He's doing my makeup for tonight's activity. At si Tita po ang magtutuli ng aming video. Sige po. Ayan. Ayan. Ito daw ang pinatawag na smokey look. Light smokey look. Um, kasi kapag dark siya, as in blue, black, no? Yung ano mo? Brown and... Ano na? Gray, grayish type. Na. I see. Kasi ang ginawa ni Jessie, parang layered siya. Uh, Nag-start siya ng lighter color. Yun. Bago siya nag-dark. Ayan. Tama ba? Yes. Mm -hmm. Tapos... Afternoon na primer siya. Ang dami niya mga Chanel products. So, yung mga gusto magpaganda, please come and visit Jesse here. Actually, open siya everyday. You can also contact me through his WhatsApp number. Bibigay ko mamaya. Diba? Pwede din siya lang, pwede din po kayo mag-appointment. He's always ready to make you really beautiful. Yung mga lalaki naman, pwede. Wala po siyang pinipi. As OFWs, we also look forward to the weekends because that's the time when we relax and we enjoy some time off. And today we are here at Jess's salon, and uh, this is Jessie. To say hi. How are you there? Say something about your salon. Uh, our salon is located at Ruby, near Palayok Restaurant, office office center. Yes. If you want to visit us, just uh, check my number. Yeah, I'm going to share. Yes, I'm going to share his number. On screen? Yes. <laughs> and, yes. Uh, you see, during the weekend, we also get the chance to meet with our family members. And tonight, he's actually very lucky because it's Tita Wang is here. Tita It's because it's a weekend, so we don't come to off then kay Papa Ano. So, mahirap mag abroad, pero minsan we really always may enjoy. Tama po? Yun. Mag sabi ka kita, ano ang iyong ano mo? Ano ang gusto mo dito sa abroad? Hi! Yan. Gusto mo dito sa abroad, maraming friends. Ayun. Wala wala ka siya sa Pilipinas. Wala. Oo. Ito naman si Kuya Ed. Isa siya dito. Kasama ni Jessie. Mag-hi ka naman sa vlog. Hi. Hello. Ayun. Kapag pala si Jessie, you can also look for Kuya Ed. Kapag pala si Kuya Ed, nandito ni Jessie. Ito na. Ito. Paupo-upo na. Pag walang mar. Yeah. Ilang taon ka na dito, Kuya? Ano po? Oh, 19 years na po siya dito sa Oman. And yet, he still loves to stay. Bakit? Yes, I don't. I like you. Because you're nice. Okay, aside from of course earning a decent amount of money, it's nice to be inside, right? Like the rap. So, there are many other things we can do for you, and our friends who are in the OFW. So, please stay tuned. We'll continue with this. Thank you. Hello, Jessie. Hello. Hello. Filipino workers are the modern-day heroes and this is basically because of their economic contribution to our beloved Philippines through their remittances but of course aside from this as you might already know OFWs across the globe are willing to sacrifice a lot and to face their challenges courageously just to ensure that they have better future for their family and loved ones back home. And so for me, the hard work and these incomparable sacrifices 
and the resilience of the OFWs in the face of life's challenges speak volume about their profound love for their family and it tells us that they really are the modern day heroes. So to my fellow hardworking OFWs, salute to you all. May God bless you and hasta la vista.